Does your npm package JSON file looks like this? If you work with any project of a large size before, you will probably have a script section that looks similar to this, but in some cases it may be even weirder and bigger and with tons of flags in it and lots of environment variables passed to it. Um, it's going to be very difficult to keep it under control as your project grows. So how would you like it if you can tone all of this down to very like one or two words so you can um, you know set the environment variable separately to make just make it cleaner well you're in luck today there's a very package called better npm run that I found and it could provide you the necessary cleaning utility that you need to make your package JSON maintainable so this package is very simple I'm going to use it on create react app that I have set up and I'm going to show you how you can turn this into a much cleaner version of the script section so first thing you do you need to install the better npm run module so when I go into my path projects you just do npm install better npm run and save it once you do that which I've already done It'll appear here now you can use this a global command to alias some of your commands so what I like to think about is this is very similar to the alias command in the terminal where you can use a alias for a specific command that's super long let's say this whole thing if I want to alias it with the word build all I had to do is type the word build and it will run this whole command for me so this is very similar it's an alias for package JSON so let's take a look at how it looks like after I apply better npm run to this package JSON. So here we have a new section to the package JSON file. It's called better scripts. This is a section where you define a command and its you uh, its you know a command name and its command action as a key value. So you can do it two ways. One is either define a name and then define the actual command being run in a string. Or you can call it in the object notation. So here you have a command name, and here you have a object property where you can specify the command that will be run, and then you can pass in whatever the environment variable that it will run against. So here I let's say I have a build dev command. Now I can define it using better scripts. So the the, the command I'll be running, I need to I just need to um, here this is string notation. So I'm passing in the the, the uh, environment variable and then the actual command with its flags and all defined in this neat little symbol one command. And then in script section, all I had to do is reference it by using better npm uh, run command. We can you can shorten it with, with the bnr command. So bnr stands for better run mp better npm run. And then I say the name of the script that I define in better scripts, which is build colon dev. So now I can just do npm run this and it will execute whatever you define under here. Same thing with build prod in here, except I'm using a object notation to separate out the environment variable to its own line. This makes the code a lot cleaner and it makes it easier to read. So this is the build prod command. And same thing with the test command and the eject command. So I just transform this whole thing into one simple block. And you can run it and it will do behave the same way. So if I do npm run build prod, it will basically run this whole command, run passing in the proper um, environmental flag in here. Now if you have a .env file in your project, you can do let's create a new file in here sorry let me go into here and then create a new file .env so if you have a .env file you can define your um, all of your environment flags in there so if I do test so if I have an env file like this Path better script will automatically 
take the environment flag defined in that env file by default so if you have a env file it just it will run every command with no env equals test however if you define an env here in the better script it will take this will override that env file so you can run specifically what what kind of environment you want to run for your script so I find this better npm run script uh, module very useful to clean up your scripts, especially if you have a large Node.js project. So I hope you find this tutorial useful and I hope you will clean up your package JSON in the future and I hope this module maintains it better for you in the future. I'll see you in the next tutorial.